So look, Sam Bankman Freed has been arrested, as we know, right? And when he was arrested is causing some people to raise their eyebrows. They're saying, why would they arrest him the day before he said to testify in front of Congress? Oh, they're trying to hide something. They're trying to hide, you know, the Democratic uh, people in Congress. They're trying to hide the fact that they've been donated to. But that's really a pointless conspiracy for a number of reasons. First and foremost, everybody know what Sam did. And as I pointed out before about blockchain technology, the beautiful thing about it is you can see all the exchanges that are made and they can never be deleted or reversed or backtracked, which means all of this data has already been plainly seen by everybody on top of the fact, right, that FTX and Alameda Research have been thoroughly, thoroughly looked through. Their books have been looked at. The structure of the company is pretty well understood at this point. The fact that they barely had any accounting, the fact that their records were barely kept, the fact that Sam Bankman Freed owned both of those institutions, well, still owns both of them. We know what he did. And also, there's really no need for a conspiracy around, oh, the uh, the, the people in Congress, they don't want to be outed. Like we, we already know who he donated to. These types of things are public information, you know what I'm saying, especially for things that aren't uh, under the table. And sites like Open Secrets that anybody can go to, you know, OpenSecrets.org, you can go there and it has everybody's donation information, PAC information, where all the money's coming from. And then, of course, the Federal Elections Committee uh, Commission keeps up with these types of things as well. So this shit is already publicly available information. You know, there's no conspiracy going on. We know who Sam Bankman Free donated to and whoever he didn't donate to. Uh, or rather, if there's anyone under the table he donated to and we don't know exactly who that is, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It, who cares about his testimony? Not only that, this motherfucker has been on again on Twitter, going all over television, all over independent outlets, lying his ass off and making a fool of himself, really, you know, going on the whoopsie. I fucked up to her. So his testimony in front of Congress really is not needed. We know what he did. We know he's a crook. We know he stole their body money. We know that motherfuckers ain't getting their money back because he lost it by speculation gambling on shit coins through Alameda Research. So it's really that simple. There's no conspiracy. Um, and then I can't remember, recall his name off the top of my head right now, but he was talking about uh, oh, Sam Bankman Freed. He's just a ploy. He's a he, he's a, a part of a, a pawn and a bigger plot to take down crypto. Like, no, he's not. Uh, I mean, it's not just FTX, but all the other exchange platforms on top of, um, the, you know, all the shit coins that have crashed, including Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin's still the most valuable. But all of that, the, the, the crypto markets never needed FTX. So there's there's no ploy to take down crypto. There's just no regulation. Some motherfuckers are scamming. No, no, no. Ain't no, ain't no plot around Sam Bankman free. He's just a crook. He's just a thief. And he got caught. And the last thing on this, because it's really not that much more to talk about, at least today, because I talked about it yesterday and it'll be unfolding anyway. But on top of that, you know, motherfuckers acting like Sam Bankman free, who has been lying his ass off in all these interviews, can't just go on, go, go up in front of Congress and lie some more. We don't need his testimony. We have hard evidence. We know what he did. You know what I'm saying? Take like another one. 